Hey guys, this is Are You Ready For Today's September 27, 2024, 2.10 p.m. Central Time. Maybe you've heard of this, maybe you haven't, but regardless, this is going to affect the election if this were to take effect October 1st. A port strike could affect medications and inflation. The inflation portion is what's going to affect the election if this happens. Because obviously there's inflation already. Very, very high in some areas. So obviously Biden is not running, but his little VP is. And it would be very interesting if this happens and things really explode, especially regarding medications, but obviously inflation. I'd love to see how that motherfucker fucking spins this and says that she could somehow help. Um, I had two articles. One, I sent, well, I sent them both to myself, but for whatever reason, the other one disappeared. I just talked about the inflation portion, but I think that's pretty uh, self-exclamatory. Anyway, this is Fox Business, who I actually do follow. Poor strike could delay delivery of critical medications. It could be devastating, doctors say. For anyone who's interested in this portion of it, it says the I'm not going to read the whole thing, but the International Longshoremen Association, the ILA, which is negotiating on behalf of 45,000 dock workers at three dozen U.S. ports and the U.S. Maritime Alliance, USMX, which re- represent port employers, remain at an impasse over wages in a new contract. That other article actually talked about how truckers <laughs> were noticing that there were backlogs anyway um, and their trucks were having to sit there and wait for stuff to be unloaded as it was. So this was going to do obviously severe damage to them. So the railways, I know that also in that other article said that they're doing everything they can to get uh, products from A to B. But I mean, if you can't get this shit off the shipping containers, it's really not going to make a difference whether it's by railway or truck. So anyway, this portion of it, though, was talking specifically about life-saving medications and surgical supplies the U.S. exports to other countries, as well as things that get imported. It says the pharmaceutical industry, more than 91% of containerized imports and 69% of containerized exports, uh, the U.S. pharmaceutical products are handled by the affected ports, according to EverStream Analytics. This is just another reason we should be doing this shit in the United States. Obviously, we have learned nothing from COVID that fucking 91% of containerized imports are, are from the pharmaceutical industry. That's absurd. It says more than one in three containers exported from the U.S. life-saving medications leave the port of Norfolk uh, in Virginia, while nearly 30% of the containerized Pharmaceutical imports enter the U.S. at the port of Charleston in South Carolina, the firm noted. Uh, what, it's, what they're talking about specifically regarding medications, it could be anything, really. I don't know why they're focusing on these other than just because it's something to put in an article. It says, while manufacturers and wholesaler distributors may carry a month or more of certain drugs as you get closer to the point of patient contact, namely providers and retail pharmacies, they carry much more limited supply, potentially five to seven days in many cases. One of my medications, I can tell you right now, is always backlogged, and it is Vyvanse. And the reason for that is very simple, actually. They lost, the company that created Vyvanse was actually Shire, who turned into Takeda. They got their patent, I believe, in like 2013, and it expired last year in 2023. So obviously generics were going to start coming out. So what fucking Takeda did was basically transfer most of their interest into their other medications rather than Vyvanse um, because other manufacturers can now make generics. Apparently, other (laughs) companies who were putting out generics kind of were a little bit ahead of the game, which makes no sense, putting out the generic of Vyvanse, but it was not enough. Uh, So there were actually like two or three months where I had to go with an alternative that really pissed me off because Vyvanse is amazing compared to like Adderall and Ritalin and stuff. 
So I don't know if that, and that type of shit, I don't even know where that shit's made, but the fact that the generic is what I'm getting now because Vyvanse, the actual Vyvanse is scarce, the brand name, um, and it's more expensive, obviously. Got news for you, the generic's still over 100 bucks. Um, anyway, and that's with a goddamn coupon and actually with insurance, for me anyway. But that's good RX as well. <laughs> So the shit's very expensive. Beside the point, uh, generic is is starting to get better in the market, but it is still in short supply. I have not checked where these generics are coming from. I don't even know where the fuck Vyvanse is coming from. So that could actually affect me, and that is not a life-saving, but that is a functional drug that affects my goddamn daily life. So if that gets affected even more because of this port possible strike... I will be fucking livid. Anyway, it talks about... Oh, the another possibility is that patients may be able to talk to their doctor about starting an alternative medication. However, it might not always be an option. And by the way, when something's a controlled substance and all of a sudden you have to change to a different controlled substance, pharmacies are assholes and they don't really appreciate that you do that and they question your shit. Beside the point... It says chief among them would be things like chemotherapy, where people are on a regimen of different drugs of chemotherapeutic cocktails for different cancers. If they fall off the regimen, it can throw them into a whole cycle of chemo. It could be devastating if for someone is forced to stop taking their oral oncology medications, blah, blah, blah. It also talks about type 1 diabetes who are unable to acquire insulin, for instance, could go into a condition called diabetic. What is that called? What is that? Cato acidosis, <laughs> which is potentially life threatening. We should be making insulin in this goddamn country, considering how many people fucking take it, it seems. Uh, it also says Moon also notes how critical anti rejection drugs are. Patients needing these anti rejection drugs so that the body doesn't reject an organ that they are receiving. And that was the end of this article. But. I wanted to go over this just for this shits and giggles because it could affect medications, but it's obviously going to affect goods 100%. We get everything from fucking overseas. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Nothing gets made in this goddamn country. Everything's from China. And I actually make sure my all my medications are not from India, China, any of those places, any Asian areas specifically but like i said i should probably look into my vivance uh generic and see where the fuck that's coming from um but i make sure i don't take anything from any of those types of areas and i've specifically made the pharmacy change the manufacturer on some of my medications because of that so anyway port strike could happen on october 1st if apparently they can't get their shit and their wages. That's the only thing I've heard about were wages. I don't know if they're asking for other benefits or what. I don't I have a real and I'll end this video after this. I have a real mixed feeling on fucking unions. I really do. Because Arizona didn't really have unions. It was a right to work state anyway, so it's kind of used to not hearing about unions much. Um but I get it. I get that having a union for major industries like like for ports, like for railways, uh, like for uh, electricians and shit like that. I get it. But I don't like it because I don't think an entire industry, especially one that like the first few that I mentioned, well, actually all of them I mentioned, affect the economy and everybody's daily life tremendously if they don't get their demands met. And it's gotten to the point, it seems like, in my adult life that these people and these unions, like, for example, the stupid auto union workers, I thought that strike was ridiculous, by the way, I don't think those people should have a union at all. That should be plant by plant, period, and a story. Um, but these major things like railways, port strikes, electricians, shit like that, I get it, 
but there should be a middle ground. And it seems like once I, like I said, in my adult life, some of these people are asking for things that are, in my opinion, quite absurd. You know, like when they did the rail railway negotiations, they were asking for a lot of stuff. They weren't just asking for raises. They were asking for time, paid time off, better health benefits. I mean, massive paid time off, too. It wasn't just like, hey, give us a couple extra weeks. I mean, it was a ridiculous amount of time off. Um, I just, and there's like no middle ground. And just like the auto worker people were absolutely like stand your ground assholes. And the fact that this administration is stands with unions, it should be very interesting if this, if this port strike happens on October 1st to see how this fucking administration responds to it. If they agree, which they probably will, with the union for the porch strike. Or they focus more on, let's get to the negotiation table, blah, blah, blah. And they actually find a middle ground. I don't necessarily foresee the middle ground happening. Like I said, adult life, these people stick to their fucking guns. Um, but regardless, I don't see how this administration doesn't address this. Due to the fact this has to do with the entire country's goods coming in and out. Medications, surgical instruments fucking everything in your goddamn house that comes from overseas, which will cause inflation, which is their problem anyway. How Harris spins this, who knows? How Trump spins this in his rallies, perhaps, saying he could have, you know, prevented this or something. Who knows? So this is definitely going to affect the election if this goes through. Anyway, this is Are You Ready For It? Take care, guys. Have a great day.